Oops, I don't think I had started yet. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm just going to pop comments on here. This is a little bit of a surprise live. And that is because I will not be able to go live tomorrow on Tuesday. So I am trying this new thing. <laughs> hey, Chris to go live twice a week. And I realized that I already have an appointment for tomorrow. And so I originally was just gonna do this tomorrow, but I'm not going to be around to do a live tomorrow. So I wanted to do it today. We're not really making anything. I don't have time today to make anything. Hey Debbie, hey Daisy. Um. So since I don't have time to make anything tomorrow, or right today, or tomorrow, I'm going to do the live today, and I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I just got. The UPS guy just got here with some really fun product. I was hoping to get this on Friday so I could have played with it over the weekend, but that didn't happen. So I just want to show you guys some of the stuff, and then we're going to take a look at the brand new Tremor. So this is I haven't opened anything yet. And so we're going to take a look at it all together. So, and I feel like... I feel like this is not working well. Okay, maybe it is. It just is a different... Everything's different, you know, when things update. So the first thing I want to share with you guys, I'm really excited about this. It's a sweatshirt, but look, it's a Stampin' Up! sweatshirt. So I, I love, I love logo items, you know, so it says Stampin' Up! right on it, and it's a little hoodie, like a zip up. I got it a little big. I'm hoping it will, um, I, th I think it'll shrink. Oh, maybe it won't. Ooh. Um, well, it's nice and cozy, but it's lightweight. So I love that. Um, I finally decided to try and just get one and see. So that was my, that was a, a really exciting um, thing I was ready to get. So the other thing I did is I got several of the, well, not several. I got two. Oh, it's not taped. I got two of the refill kits for my paper pumpkin because I'm going to do this for my kids, for Violet and Andrew for um their class so i just got the refill kit and it's these boxes so i'll have a total of three and then i'll do something different for kayla's class <sighs> because you guys know wendy doesn't like it when we do the same stuff for the class she kind of has a thing about that so i got two of these and i love the box so that was good if you're not getting paper pumpkin, I have a fun special going this month that if you do, if you sign up to get my paper pumpkin, I'll send you 10 handmade cards in the mail. I have two of the, two um, packages going out to new subscribers this week. So um, if you're interested in getting paper pumpkin, now's a fun time to try it. Okay, so then the next thing I got is some of these coffin uh, boxes. So I know I'm kind of late to the game here. Like it's already October and um, we're fastly approaching. Probably lots of people have already been getting these and doing stuff with them. But I got these so that I could do gifts for the teachers for um, Halloween. So I'm just going to fill these with candy and do a little card. So you get uh, 12. So that's more than enough. I'll do the staff and I will do um, the teachers. And you just put these together in their little coffin boxes. So that's why I got that. I'm trying to get my everything in order for doing treats and stuff. Andrew's birthday is next week. And um, I have to do... I, I just have been really bad about doing treats for the kids. Okay, so some fun product um, that is not new or anything. This is just the... Um, Night Before Christmas designer paper. I got a stack of that. So it's this paper that's not my favorite. But I also got this. And this is going to, I'm going to release a mini class with this. That will come out next week. So there's the dies that go with the stamp set. And then I'm going to design a mini class using this 
products here. Hopefully it's not too early for Christmas stuff to start. I feel like people need time, right, to get their Christmas cards and stuff done. So that's why I got this. I wasn't planning on it, but I thought it would make a good mini class. Oh my gosh, that would be a great idea, uh, Daisy, an over-the-hill party. I got some envelopes. Whisper White envelopes are always on my list. And then this is the other thing I'm going to share with you guys. And then we're going to look at brand new product. This is the, comes in this weird box. Like, I was like, what is this? And it is the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas. This is the melody that is, this whole thing is sold all together. I'm going to show you in the catalog where this is at. I've been seeing cards with this. And I couldn't figure out where these cards were coming from. And so I was like looking and looking and I realized it was this. And I had no intention of getting this. But of course, when you see stuff done with it, then you have to get it, right? So it's this right here. So you get all of this stuff. You get the stamp set, the die, the designer paper, the ribbon. We're going to look at all of it. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think of it okay so it's right here and this is all of this stuff Elizabeth did you get my message I saw you just popped on here I sent you a message this morning okay so it has this little cardboard piece I think that's to protect the stuff and it comes in this ziploc bag do you guys save those? I save my Ziploc bags. You never know when, you, when uh, you're going to need to use them. Okay, so in here, in this little wrapping, everything's wrapped. Okay, so we have these must be like card fronts or something. Let's, let's read. Gold foil card fronts. Yep, that's what these are. These are beautiful. I love these. Okay, so they're just white on the back and then they're foiled. That's fun. Then there's these that punch out and I always love that. They're already colored like this. I love that this is just, oh, these are stickers. Okay, and they're already colored for you. That's awesome. Okay, so you get two, one of the trees. So these, and then you have all these um, animals. And then these, oh my goodness, look at this. This is adorable. I love the colors. So it's like, oh, it's meant to look watercolored. I love that. Oh my heavens. Oh, look at this paper, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so, and what I love about this is instead of just getting two sheets, so it's 48 sheets, like you normally get, okay, the catalog does not even do this paper justice. Hello, how have I missed this? Okay, so you get 48 sheets, but you get four, no, eight each right is that it two four six eight two four six you must get eight you wouldn't just get seven would you well you get multiple designs like so instead of just getting two like it's double-sided and you just get two you get multiple of these so that's great because you can't get this paper just by itself which is such a bummer because look at that that's foiled and then there's this side then there's this one let's see two four six eight yeah I think I might be missing a piece of this unless I just didn't count right and then look this is foiled and then here's oh you guys this is adorable this is adorable. And then look at this. This is what I kept seeing. And I was like, where in the world? Like, I thought people were stamping these. These are foiled. Oh, my. 
Then these are stripes. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I got this. You cannot even tell in the catalog that this stuff is as gorgeous as it is. I have been missing out. This is gorgeous. And then there's this, the candy canes. Oh my word. Okay, this is so cute. This was worth it. This was totally worth it. Okay, so then here's the card fronts. And then there's these, these stickers. Okay, and then you get these gold star. They probably have adhesive on the backs of them. Oh, I'm telling you, Elizabeth, the, the paper is worth the kit. Okay, so then here's the stamp set. And then here's the dies. And then there's ribbon we're going to look at. So I, I am actually very pleased with this. It is a fantastic value for what you get. So let's look at the dies and see. Um, always the good a good test of like when you're getting something in a melody is would you buy the would you buy all of the pieces individually? So I would totally buy the stamp set and the die. I love this. These cut out the presents. It's meant to look watercolored. The tree is very, very pretty. I've seen that. That's the other thing I kept seeing. So I think that's gorgeous. So I would totally buy this. I would totally buy the paper. I would totally buy these embellishments. The card fronts, I feel like, just go with the designer paper. Like, I just think that's a, an added value. And then let's check out this ribbon. That paper, I cannot get over that paper. Okay, let me... It's always hard to open up this ribbon okay and then here's the um, ribbon oh yeah this is so pretty this is fun this is different. This isn't something that I would probably purchase just seeing it in the catalog, but if I saw it in person, I probably would purchase it because it's kind of almost um, not weird, but you know when you look at something and you're like, oh, I'm not really sure how to use it, but I feel like seeing it on projects, then I would totally purchase it. And it's um, like, see how you can like manipulate this, like the way it's like almost like wired in there. That's so awesome. So I love this. I love this um, so much. I love this paper so much. I cannot wait to create cards with this, you guys. I love it. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So that is just on this page right here. And I feel like it's a phenomenal value for everything that you get. I will definitely be doing some stuff with this this week. Okay, so the next few things I got are brand new product. We're going to wait to do the trimmer till the very end because I want, to, I want to just be able to look at that and chat with you guys about it. So the next stuff that I got is stuff that will be out next month for customers. If you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can pre-order this stuff now. This is called the Christmas Time is Here. I believe is the name of this. And um, this is what I'm very interested in. Yep. Okay. So I totally knew it. Okay. So there's a stamp set and this is a one of two set. So you, you get both of these when you order the stamp set. All of this stuff you'll be able to order separately. Like I didn't get all of the pieces in the suite of product. I just got, um, good morning, Wendy. I just got um, a few pieces that I needed to be able to do some designing. So here's the really fun thing. This is a distinctive stamp, meaning when you stamp this, you're not going to have to do a lot of layering, but you will um, get a very fun look. And you can see that that one is in photopolymer. Okay. And then this one that is really big is in the cling. So you get to see both types of stamps that we offer, which is really cool. You get the red rubber with this one, and then you get the photopolymer with this one. So I love that. 
so there's the two sets the two stamp sets that I got and then I got the dies and again this is pre-order product so for me as a demonstrator I'm able to pre-order this this month and then it'll be it will be available next month so you guys won't see anything on my website after this until way later in the month I just have um, some specific design projects that I have to have this for that I have um, deadlines for at the beginning of the month but this stuff here you won't see until next month really I'm just sharing it because it came in my package today so here's the dies this die cuts out the big rows I believe this one right here and then there's some really beautiful like label type ones that I'll use so I this is I love this I think it's fabulous and then um, there is designer paper that goes with this. And again, I had to have this for some design projects that are being used, that are um, basically being designed this month and then released next month. So this paper has foil on it. And um, okay, so this is nice. It has four of this of the sheets of designer paper so again instead of two and having more designs whoops sorry guys um you're getting the same design which is nice but again with this stuff you can buy just the paper so if you needed just the paper you could buy just the paper and this it really i struggle with this because it really feels more like um Valentine's Day. It doesn't feel so much like Christmas to me, but you know, I'm going to push outside my comfort zone and I'm going to try to do some stuff for Christmas, but I'm not going to lie. You guys, there may be hearts involved in my designs, but we're just, we're going to go with it. And then the other thing that um, I purchased, of course, and I will be purchasing more of are the gold glimmer enamel dots and you guys know how much I love um I totally love anything that is like this the enamel glitter dots you guys know like I use a ton so I will totally be purchasing more of these and this is a little trick that I do oops am I out of staples I might be out of staples. Yep, I sure am. Well, one staple will do for now. I staple my um, embellishment to the thing so that it is more sturdy where I store these. So that is the fun product that will be out next month. So now let's dive in and take a look at this trimmer. Who is ready to take a look at the new trimmer? Um, let me grab these. Okay, so here it is, you guys. So the refill cutting blade. Okay, so let's do a couple things. Let's let's talk about a couple things. Okay, so the first thing is, is that I do not know when this is going to be available for customers. I did not know that actually when I ordered this. I did not take the time to read. I was just like, oh, yay, we're in pre-order. I'll pre-order it, and it'll be ready for customers next month. Then there was some information floating around. And I was like, wait a minute, obviously I didn't read everything. I went back and basically Stampin' Up! has said, let's see how well the trimmer does before we release it to customers. That, you guys, I really am furious about it because I feel like, what do you mean? How well is it going to do? Like, we need a trimmer. Like, what is wrong with you? I don't understand why we're waiting. But that's what they're doing. As soon as it is available for customers... I will tell you guys, and I'm hoping it'll just be next month. Like, I'm hoping Stampin' Up! will be like, yeah, we're releasing this. Um, the blades come in this weird tray thing. Ooh, this is weird. Okay. So, they come four to a package. They are $12 for, for a package, so they're the same price as they were before. They were $6 for two. Now you get them in four. And they're $12. So no difference there. They just come in this little plastic tray now. Which is super weird. And then let's see how this looks. Who is excited? Who is excited about this? 
Okay. So it's very lightweight. It's very, very lightweight. Like compared to this one, this one is much heavier. The old trimmer is much heavier than this one. This one is very, very lightweight. I mean, it almost feels like, um, like it almost feels like, like it's going to break. It's so lightweight, which is nice. It's definitely like thinner. I feel like it's like much thinner, but remember the old trimmer had this pocket in the back That could hold your blades, which I really love this. This does not have that. Okay. So it's definitely more square. Like this one's more rounded. Our old one is more rounded. And you can tell, maybe you can tell them sitting side by side. I mean, it's a good half an inch, like flatter than this one. Yeah, you can tell, I think on camera, you can tell. Okay, so it has, it's the same concept. It, it pulls up. It has a scoring blade and a cutting blade. It comes with both. Okay. Um, I feel like all of these measurements are freaking me out. I don't understand them. You guys know that. It has both metric and then whatever it is that we use. You guys know. I don't know. But I'm not loving that. I know it makes more sense for the company as far as like if you if you use this other system like it's already on here. But this, I don't like it, you guys. I don't like it because it, um, it freaks me out. I don't understand it. So um, it's going to be a struggle for me for sure. Um, this pulls out to 14 and a half. So like this half, that's probably like four, yeah, no, four, yeah, 14 and a half is the most, like the longest, you know, you're going to be able to cut your paper. This goes all the way to 17 inches. So I don't know how in the world we, I don't even know what we would cut. That would be 17 inches, but that's how far it goes out. So, uh, let, let's see. So I, I'm, tr I'm trying to like, whew, like take this in. It's going to be different to, to get to you, um, get used to using. I feel like it has the, this is nice. Okay. This is a nice feature. Okay. Always looking for the positive. So on here, you just have your, your, um, surface, right? So if we take a piece of paper and we're cutting up here, you know, or we're cutting down here, I, I tend to do both. I tend to go all the way to the top to cut and I tend to go all the way to the bottom to cut. Okay. So the nice thing about this trimmer is you'll notice it has this middle, um, ruler kind of situation here. So if you're at the bottom, if you're at the top, you're really going to be able to get things lined up really nice. That I think is a is an awesome feature. Okay. So, that's nice. Um also, I tend to use this a lot. Like I use this right here which I think would be a quarter of an inch and then I think no, that wouldn't be cuz this is an inch. So, see this is where um I'm not sure exactly what these I think this is half an inch. This would be half an inch. And this would be three and three quarters. And then that's an inch. I use this a lot. So it's nice. This I feel like is labeled a little bit easier to use on this side. And that is for this purpose. When you're trying to cut something at an inch this way, you see how it's hard to hold your paper? Uh, no, you can't because I'm not on camera. That's better. Okay, so it's hard to like hold your paper there, but if you put it here, then you can hold your paper and cut. Okay. So I like that. Again, I don't know why we need 17 inches. 
I, I don't I don't really understand that. Um, you're gonna want to make sure that your piece here, so it's like a little hook, it slides in here, and that's what's gonna hold it. Now, this I know I have one trimmer that it's really hard to pull out. And I have one trimmer that it's fine. My trimmer that's down by my Project Life stuff, it's this piece is really difficult to pull out. Um, so I like this feature that it just like kind of clicks in. Yes, this whole thing sits flat. So there's a little bit of a lip. Um, it's hard to show you guys this with the phone. See how this is a little bit of a lip right here? Or not a lip, but like a stand. So everything sits flat. Like the whole thing feels like it's just flat on your surface. Like, I mean, it's just so flat. It's crazy. Okay, so let's let's cut. Okay, let's cut and see these what how these blades are gonna work. So I tend to take my um my scoring blade, I tend to take it off. This one's on here because this one actually was the one that was down by my Project Life Station. So these slide on really easy. Okay, so there's just a little... Um, right here, there's a little kind of opening almost. And you just bring this down and pull it out. I can't do it one-handed holding it close to the phone, but you just pull it out. You line it up right there, and then it pulls out. And then to put the blade in, you just find that little um, place, and then you slide it in. And then, oh, maybe it just slides out anywhere. Oh, maybe you don't even have to. Okay, totally lied. You just slide it out anywhere. Oh, maybe, yeah, you just slide it out anywhere. I think it slides in and out easier down there where that little piece is. But, I mean, I think you can slide it out pretty much anywhere. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to look around and see. Yeah, it's, it's pretty flat. There's no... Okay, so up here where the where this opens, there's no lock. So here on this one, it was locked. You could lock it so your arm didn't fly up. So let's cut. Let's let's do some cutting. So let's just use this paper that I have. Okay, so this is the blade, the dark one. Wow. Okay. So the blade itself is this double-sided blade. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. Yeah, you guys can tell a little bit. So that means that it cuts moving down or moving, you know, moving up or moving down. So you get more cuts when you have blades that are like this than if you don't have them like this. So what I always do is I rotate, like, I don't always bring my blade to the bottom and cut up. I rotate back and forth. So it cuts really nice. I mean, it definitely cuts really nice. It'll be interesting to see how long the blade lasts. I feel like it's a much sharper blade. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys this. Let me get a blade out of the old trimmer. Okay, so we can compare. So see how tiny that blade is? Um... Let me see if I can. Okay, so see how tiny that blade is? Compared to, look at how massive this blade is. That's the blade, you guys. Like right there against my nail. That's the blade. Let's not chip my nail polish, but that's the blade. Compared to, this is the blade. So the blade, this blade is massive. Let 
Oh my gosh, that's funny, Elizabeth. You didn't even know it had the holder on the bottom. Okay, so I think the blade situation is going to be much better than it was on here. So I'm excited to see that they that the blade itself is different, right? Because that was the big problem, right? That the the blade wasn't um didn't didn't hold up. So I just used the scoring tool and it works just like, you know, any scoring tool will. You know, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so overall, let's see, how do I feel about it? It's going to take some getting used to, for sure. I like that it's lighter weight, okay, than this one. It, I mean, the looks, as far as the way it looks, I mean, it's not like, it, we don't really care about the way it looks. It's the the way it functions, right? I definitely like the way this one looks better. I like the locking mechanism. I like the blade storage. Um, I like that it's a little more sturdy feeling. Like, I feel like it's, you know, but that's just probably because I'm used to that, it's like what I'm used to. It's how I'm how it feels to me. I will use my old trimmer until all my blades are gone. You can see I have quite a few blades. So I'll definitely use this one until my blades are gone for it. Um, and that will be fine. I like the blade situation that this has changed and they're deeper blades. I feel like that really is going to give a longer lasting life to the blade itself okay and then um uh, I feel like everything else is pretty sturdy it's gonna take some time getting used to the way this looks as far as like the measurements it's probably just a little bit more difficult for me because I don't know how to read rulers right like if you're really if you're normal and you know how to read a ruler, it probably is like not a big deal for you, right? Like it probably, and it will probably be helpful. The other thing that I'm thinking is this will be helpful if you watch people that are overseas. Like I watch several people, several Stampin' Up! demonstrators that are not in the US. And so their measurements are based on their measuring system. And this is actually going to make it, if you want to follow a tutorial they're doing, you're going to be able to do that really easy using your trimmer, right? So that's really nice. I'm just catching up on comments, guys. Elizabeth, you crack me up. Or that it locked. You don't pay much attention, right? It's like a trimmer, right? Like it cut the paper. That's all you needed. No, they will not work in the in the old trimmer. So here's the blade. I mean, I wonder if you could just make it work. <laughs> Let's just see. I mean, Stampin' Up! has said no, they don't work. But, you know, it doesn't, doesn't ever hurt to try. No, because of the way this is designed. Yeah, see? This is flat. Yeah, see, this part is the part that won't let it fit. They probably they probably weren't allowed to make it to where they fit is my guess. That would be my guess. Yeah, so it won't even it won't even kind of remotely work. OK, so this trimmer is twenty five. $24.99 is what I is what it will be. Which is cheaper than this one. It's cheaper than this one was. I think this one was 30. I think this was 40. It was either 30 or 40. Maybe it was $29.99, but this one is a little bit cheaper. Yeah, so uh you know, all in all. I'm shocked at how lightweight it is. The surface is the same surface as here. So if you need to wipe this off or clean it off, if you get glue or something on it, um, you're going to be able to wipe it off the same way. The other thing you won't have to deal with is this. So this is in here because at one time, this trimmer, this if you look, your arm can come off. 
and there was a rotary piece that could then hook onto this. And so you needed this piece here to have this. And so there, you won't have to deal with that anymore either. Every now and again, mine falls out. This piece, you know, falls out. I have a storage system on the side of my desk here, like over this way. And it's on the side of like the wall of my desk. And it, they, my trimmers like slide in standing up. And every once in a while, like that would fall out. So all in all, I mean, this, the really nice thing is, is that this is very flat to your surface. So when you have your paper overhang, it's, it's, um, it's going to be easier because it's, it's flatter to your surface, which is nice. And the arm is flatter to your surface as well. So all in all, I mean, I think it's good. I'm glad we have the option. Like, I'm glad we have a trimmer option. I hope it gets to customers soon. Um, and, I mean, overall, I like it. Right? Like, when I went from my Fiskars trimmer to this one, it was a little bit different getting used to it, right? So it's going to take a little time, of course. But overall, I mean, I think it's nice. It has this... Um, right up here, I was thinking if anybody hung their trimmers up, that would be a nice, that's a nice feature that you could hang it on your wall. I also like how flat it is because you can stand it up. I feel like this one, because it was so curved, it was hard to stand up. So I have a basket on my desk that I hold all of my, I'll show you. Uh, let's see, I got a unhook my iPad. So I have this little basket on my desktop and it's just this little wire basket and it holds my, um, like my, my stamp and scrub and then my stamparatus and my misty and my, you know, mini, um, grid paper and some larger pieces of grid paper and I feel like with my other setup before I had my shelves this way originally that basket I wanted for my paper trimmer that's originally what I bought that basket for so I could put my paper trimmer upright and get it off my desk and um it didn't work because it wasn't flat and I feel like this is flat so your storage the way you store it is going to be easier as well right Daisy as long as it cuts straight like that's I guess that's all we're looking for in a trimmer I guess that's probably the truth right it cuts so I guess we're good right <laughs> and it does cut nice I mean I will admit it does cut super nice and I feel like it would cut, you know, two or three pieces of paper. Like with my small trimmers, I usually cut probably, you know, at least three pieces. So here's two. Yeah, and that was like butter. Let's try four. Probably four is probably going to be the most you're probably going to want to cut with it. But I feel like it would probably do four easily. Oh, yeah, it did. Well, yeah, it does like three. I mean, I guess probably if I pushed harder, I wasn't really, I really wasn't putting my back into it. Let's do that. Yeah, cut through all four of those if you, you know, press down. So I feel like that's, that's decent. That's probably, I would probably cut two. Let's cut a piece of cardstock because it's, it's thicker. So here's some Knight of Navy cardstock. Okay, so see, now i got to get used to the way, like, where things are. So that's four and a quarter. This is going to be five. That's going to be five and a half right here. Oh, yeah, that cuts nice. Whoo, that cuts nice. Okay, so that's kind of a bummer. You're going to have to... It has that little lip so you can't slide your cardstock. That's going to take some getting used to, you guys. Okay, so here's something else. So with this one, I'm just going to cut like, let's just show you. Okay, so if I'm cutting this piece of cardstock, 
there is such a difference with a deeper blade. There is such a difference. You can feel it right away after you use the new one and then you go back and you use this one. There is a huge difference. So if you cut that, you can slide this right off. See? Woo, slide it right off. This is going to take some getting used to. So if I cut this, I cannot slide it right off. This little lip right here prevents me from sliding. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, like what's the big deal, but I'm really used to doing that. I'm really used to sliding my cardstock that way. Like I'm used to sliding this way and it's gonna take some getting used to. Whew, that's weird. That I will tell you I don't like. It will probably be fine once I get used to it and I don't know any difference. But uh, if I had one complaint about this, it would be that. That's going to be weird. Yeah, I think the close to my heart trimmer was the Fiskars one. The one that Stampin' Up! had before. My old Cricut trimmer always cut crooked too. I just got used to it and I could like um, compensate for it. Like I knew which way it was going to cut not straight and I would just compensate for that. I got used to it. I mean, that's, that's the deal, right? Like in a year we won't even, it won't even be a thing. Like when we've all been using this trimmer for a while, it won't even be a thing. But I do have to say that that is weird to not be able to just slide. And I guess if you're, no, I guess it's always going to be like that. You're going to have to learn to slide it the other way. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So that's the trimmer, you guys. I don't know. So what do you think? I know it'll probably depend. I guess you can't really know really until you use it, right? So you will continue to see the old trimmer in my videos and on my lives until my blades run out just because I'm a creature of habit and I don't like things changing. I just like things to be like how I like them. So I'm going to use the use my old trimmer to death until I absolutely have to change to this. But I don't think it's a bad investment. I don't, I mean, I like everything about it. Um, with the exception of that lip right there. And I feel like I'll get used to it. Right. So, um, and my other, this one cuts through several layers of paper as well. Like, Especially designer paper. Let me get some. I mean, this one cuts through. I mean, I think I can cut through two or three of these. So that's, you know, cutting through two. And then I think I can cut through four. Maybe not four, maybe just three on this one. Yeah, so I mean that one cuts through four. Like it cut through four and it was fine. It's a little bit harder. But that deep blade does make it way better. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Daisy. I'm just going to use my blades until they're gone. And then I'll switch over and I'll get used to it. You know, I, d I don't, you know, maybe I always pull this out and have it, you know, if I'm doing stuff, you know, I mean, there's always workarounds and I think it's fine. So that's the new trimmer, you guys. I wanted to share with you. Um, I am sorry that I don't know when it's going to be available for customers. That's the only thing is I might have chose to wait a little while to share with you guys just till it was closer to when it was going to be available to you guys. I don't like to share things that I don't know when they're going to be available to you. I think that's frustrating. And so we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to stick it down in my little pocket by my desk and see what happens. So my favorite thing that I got today is definitely this paper here. I cannot wait to do some stuff with this paper and show you guys. Because it is gorgeous. I'm loving it. 
So anyways, guys, there will, there will not be a live tomorrow because I won't be home. So this is my live for Tuesday. That's a bummer that it's the first kind of full week that I'm doing this and I'm already like having to change it around. But that might happen on Tuesdays because it just, you know, sometimes there's, that's Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays is when I schedule like doctor's appointments and things like that. So um, it could happen on Tuesdays, but I'm loving going live with you guys twice a week. I think it's so fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new stuff that I got in the new trimmer. And then I will have some posts up for you this week. I'm still running behind, you guys. I took Saturday off, and I just didn't do anything because I felt like I was getting sick. And so I did a lot of resting and drinking a lot of fluids and, like, trying to fight it off before it came. And I think I did. Um, but it just kind of threw me behind. So... I'm still running a little behind. I'm I'm trying to get caught up, guys. So thanks thanks for being here. Um, I'll have some posts up for you guys, and I'll be live again on Friday. I hope you guys have a wonderful week.